It's the Daily Doug. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Doug. Thanks for being with me today. On the program today, my friends, I am excited. It is a Thursday, and normally on Thursdays, we do throwback episodes where I release a previously recorded reaction. But we did a lot of that last month when we were traveling, so I was eager just to get to a whole bunch of new music in July. And so today... I am doing a brand new reaction, and I am happy that you are with me because uh, we are going back to a prog rock supergroup, y'all. It's Liquid Tension Experiment, and I'm pumped for this one, and I'm glad that you are here. So uh, recently, we heard LTE play their song Key to the Imagination on the channel. That was last month, and many of the LTE fans responded to that one by saying, thank you very much, we enjoyed that one, but you have to get to their song called When the Water Breaks. Pre uh, please, pretty please. And I heard you, y'all, and I remembered when I heard When the Water Breaks. Have I heard that before? And actually, I have. I have heard that before, but it was in an interesting context, y'all. So twice a month, over on our Patreon with our top tier patrons, the Council of Dugs, we have Zoom calls, uh, and we call it the Daily Doug Live. And twice a month, we gather for a couple of hours, and we enjoy each other's company. We talk about what has uh, happened recently on the channel. We discuss what's upcoming, and we figure out what's the best course of action to go. That's a, that's a fun thing. We also listen to music, and it's in this context that I heard this song before. It's a little bit more of an informal listen than on the channel because we're talking back and forth and we're discussing what we like and what we don't about what we're hearing. So I was remembering, yeah, I think I've heard this before, but I was racking my brain. Do I remember any of the musical sounds that were in that song? No, I don't. So <laughs> it is time and we're going back to LTE and I'm happy that you are with me. So like I said, these guys, they're a super group, y'all. Uh, an unbelievable lineup of musicians. John Petrucci on guitars, Tony Levin is on the bass and Chapman stick, Jordan Rudis on keyboards, and Mike Portnoy on the drums and percussion. They don't have a vocalist, so all of their stuff is instrumental. Um, the band was formed by Mike uh, Portnoy back in 1997, and that actually brought together Jordan Rudis with John, uh, John Petrucci two years before Jordan would officially join Dream Theater. Uh, it also brings uh, to them Tony uh, Levin, who is a legend, right? They, they should call him Tony Legend instead of Tony Levin. <laughs> He's a longtime member of Peter Gabriel's uh, live band and a longtime member of King Crimson uh, and among others, right? Just a long time absolutely fantastic bass player so when the water breaks y'all this one comes from lte2 their second album which was released in june of 1999 the song gets its name because of john petrucci's wife going into labor uh as the band was rehearsing and composing the song so uh that's pretty cool uh it's the longest track on the album at almost 17 minutes uh but we are going to watch the musicians performing this live uh, there is a live recording of this that was uh, performed in 2008 during the band's reunion tour, and this was filmed at Downey Theater in Downey, California. Like all of their songs, uh, the, uh, the tune is credited to the entire band, so I am going to really enjoy watching these guys do what they do, and I'm sure you will as well. Let's waste no more time. Off we go with When the Water Breaks. Here we go. So I better check on the kid. That's overt. The Chapman stick looks so interesting, doesn't it? Five of five to five. That's a D chord. A G. Okay. Riff upon riff. 
riff. The big riff goes into this section. Different key. That's C minor to five. Three, five, five, five. Whoa. Woo. How did they do that? They landed in A. Hang on a second. I know. Hang on. Uh, I know this is a long song, y'all, but I got to figure out. They started in G, then they had that, that, just everybody playing that big riff, and then they landed in C minor, and then they went to A. How did they get from C minor to A? Inquiring minds have to figure that out. I'm going to start right there. That's back in the riff. Okay. Flats. That's a 5 of 5. A 5. That's a G chord. C minor. G. B flat. F. A flat. D. G. That sets up C as 1. And they're just kind of going around in a sequential pattern. I gotta figure out how they did that. So. D flat, flat two. So there's a two five to A. They had to jump a tritone in the circle of fifths progression to do it, but that's why it ended up working, just because it was connected by fifths. Beautiful harmonics. Got my Dolly Parton mug this morning. Major four. Beautiful. About a week ago, I got a chance to see Dream Theater play during the Dream Sonic show in Philadelphia. Of course, Mike isn't drumming with them anymore, but Mike was there in the audience. I didn't get a chance to see him. That was a fun show. See how clean they are on those runs.
get it. Y'all. I'm amazed, friends. I think it's back to a riff on A. Then they're at the four on D. No, it's at six. I love Jordan's rig too, this keyboard rig. It allows him to have so much flair on stage as a keyboard player. It's amazing that there's only four of them. I'm not saying much, y'all, because I'm just trying to keep up. Absolutely incredible. It's also amazing to me the synergy that a group uh, like this has when they're so spread out on stage. I mean, John is 40 feet away from Jordan. And they're right together. New section. salamander than a bass instrument. It's amazing. I'm just fascinated by it. Taking that motive and just moving it to the next chord. Back to it. An asymmetrical meter put in there somewhere. heard this section before. There's a C, down to G, B flat, to the F, A flat, to 5 of 5 on the G. That's 
or C minor riff that they were doing before. It's sequential. I've ever heard. A little sound of a uh, of a baby crying right there. syncopated riffs that they all get to play.
I absolutely love this, y'all. That's a five. Although Tony's playing a Chapman stick, it looks like he's mostly just playing it as a bass instrument. It's got the range to be a treble instrument as well. Incredible. On each of their instruments, they're among my favorites at what they do in the world. I mean, Mike is in <clears throat> my personal top, you know, three or four favorite drummers. I mean, who can deny John Petrucci? Who can deny Tony Levin? Tony Legend on the bass. And, and Jordan is probably the best at what he does in the world and he's a cool guy really nice guy to boot unbelievable friends Whew. huh <laughs> well I think I got whoop hang on now I think I have uh, my day started off right by the way <laughs> That was fun, y'all. It, um, <clears throat> I'm sure it's not easy to get these four people together in a room uh, with all their busy schedules. It would take 22 years for these four musicians to again assemble after the making of this record to make another one. Uh, they gathered together during the pandemic, actually, in August of 2020 at Dream Theater's studio to record the long-awaited follow-up because this was this was recorded this performance in 2008 but the album was from 1999 right and so it took until the spring of 2021 uh 22 years later for their third album to come out and uh both of my uh, previous reactions to liquid tension experiment here on youtube have been to songs from their third album the recent one uh, I listened to their cover of Rhapsody in Blue by Gershwin. If y'all haven't seen that, check it out. It's it's amazing, crazy good. And then, like I said, just recently we heard Key to the Imagination, which is the last track on uh, LTE3. Will there be an LTE4? Inquiring minds want to know, y'all. I know that all of these musicians are busy uh these days i know that dream theater is touring i just saw them i know that um that tony is going to be touring with peter gabriel and so at some point i hope that we can get these four guys together again and see what else they can come up with uh but uh, i am thankful for the stuff that we have especially this one when the water breaks if there's a prog rock or prog metal instrumental that uh surpasses this one uh, I don't know it off the top of my head, friends. That was incredible. Great solos, really interesting progressions. Uh, everybody got a little bit of a chance to solo, and it just was a fun, fun 
listen. So thanks to the Liquid Tension Experiment fans for reminding me that I needed to get When the Water Breaks on the channel. Uh, even though I had heard it before, it's always great to hear it again and be reminded of how excellent uh, this music is and how awesome these musicians are. Great privilege to listen to it with all of y'all. Thanks for being with me, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.